Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus, so and this is episode 22 of our Let's Play campaign, Vectorio Z Block Tutorial. And we actually had two sessions of streaming between the, the last summary episode and this summary episode. So a lot of things have happened, and I'm not actually quite sure about the details. The main part is actually this line here, I would say. Maybe that's not the main line. But this is, I've been persuaded to dive into trains because hey trains on a c block what is more stupid than that so we're gonna try to do it even though uh, things are just started really coming into uh, effect and it might not be necessary but it's just fun to do it make it maybe we can have another island over here with some of the smelting some of the crafting some of the petrochemicals the filtration the washing you know tons of ideas or maybe another island over here just for for the power with solar but that's going to come later Another big addition is this one, because one of the key points that I started working on last time, or maybe it was the time before, was actually just starting to scale up our metal production, because Bob's Mods has so many different metals, and there are so many of, well, we still have those four. So basically, if you look at it, what happens here, we have all of the materials, the raw materials coming in, they're all capped. It's crushed. The chunks are not capped. The stereotype, for example, is empty while the geolite is somehow completely out of whack. You might actually take a look at the geolite just for the hell of it. What is it? Is it chunks? Geolite chunks? First, let's have a look. Yeah, it does seem right. So we are going to like take a look at the geolite chunks. There must be some kind of miss here. That one is 11k and that one's 11 10k. Okay, so that's simply because these guys here are filtering on something else we might as well fix that there this guy and that guy and that guy and that guy yes and then the other ones be based 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 right so that will now be taken care of of course it is already way overscaled but anyway it's it's pretty good Maybe that's actually the stereotype is actually suffering from the same problem. Stereotype is, it is suffering from the same problem. Copy, paste, paste, paste. So this is one of those things that's really, really critical when we built. And now this was actually not supposed to be me building. It was just supposed to be just giving an overview of what's going on. And uh, this one should be working, but I'll just check. Yep, red, th red stuff. Stuff and that stuff. Whoops, that one is not working. I can't believe I messed it up so badly. And this was supposed to be an overview of how I did things right and not how I did things wrong. Well, that was this one. Yeah, Cretinium. So we do have Cretinium here. Great. So basically, you can see now Stereotide is working here. Also, the crystals. So basically, the crushed chunks, crystals, and purified. We haven't started on the purified yet. Here we have the circuit boards, the basic circuit boards, the normal circuit boards, the superior, and the logic. We haven't started on the logic yet. They go in boards, circuits, and electronics. So for example, we have basic boards, basic circuit, basic circuit boards. The normal ones are just going to call circuit boards. They're going to call electronic circuit boards and the superior circuit boards and secure boards. This one is actually the fiberglass board. It basically illustrates that we've also scaled up to the point where we now have superior circuit boards in our network. They are positioned up here. So we are working forward on the electronics and you can see my science is working on the power. What I've also been working on lately is actually trying to structure this way better. So I deconstructed this. This was a combined smelting. I mean, the smelting process from ore to ingots, smelting and uh, plating the casting process. But now I'm splitting it so that I only have the smelting here and then I have dedicated casting location up here. So in this, if we look at from a map view, you can see here, tin, gold, brass, solder, silicon, aluminum, iron, iron, lead, Steel, copper, glass, bronze, silver, and electrum. So lots and lots of different materials here, and they'll just be scaled up. So this was actually quite a neat little way of doing it. And over here we have the production, 
again robotized production of uh, of the purified no the crystals and maybe i'll over here i'll build, build build the purified ones but i don't think i'll need to purify it now i've also dedicated my sorting areas this is the sorting areas four for iron four for copper you can see they're working that's great and then down here we have one for each special item and we have basically every special item being produced now we do not have tungsten because that's the uh, last one and we do not have whoa why do we actually use the wrong ones here actually it's strange yeah okay doesn't matter because they are kept with the, the output here but it's still i'd rather have them stored here than stored somewhere else anyway this is just burning off any excess we have of the the stone stone this excess stone just want to get rid of it so this doesn't jam or more likely that it jams because this is full you can see this one is full as well it's not actually full but it's it's getting there now that is basically we've also scaled up all of our washing plants this one is capped nothing is going on this one is also capped so we are just having a problem using materials fast enough and that is right now at the point where it is constrained by glass because glass controls our power production and everything else is just completely uh, capped out so nothing much is producing for example this one is producing what is actually being built here so what i'm uh, building now is this one, this overlay, and then I'll be working on just monitoring my key goal here. We now have all of the ore, with the exception of steel, of course, and tungsten. Then I'm going to cap it out at the ingots level and at the plates level so that we are sure that we, um, we have all of this. Once that's up and running, that means we can now produce basically any item we want. Granted, we have the tech for it, but at least this is not a problem with combining these. And with robots, we can combine it. We also are here pretty good in the position of of our electronics and that means the next part that we really need to dive into is the modules this is a huge mess but it's something that's uh, kind of manageable with uh, the petrochemicals here i think i need to sort of maybe draw the line here i don't know um it is totally manageable with robots and i'm going to build a robot maybe actually build it just as part of the build everything area i think that would be the best so the base is making perfect sense at this point to be perfectly honest i'm really happy with it it is exactly what it's supposed to everything is is running quite well right now it's actually stalled a bit because i have torn down all the ingot production and i have not rebuilt it yet because i ran out of time so that'll be the first thing i do is building ingot production to fuel all of these production facilities like this one is un not working that one that one there are some that are not working and that's the part we're going to fix first so the base is really looking well and um, it's of course not having as much throughput as it really needs considering this is going to be a C block uh, or it's going to be SpaceX. But I just at this point I want to get the whole check tree enabled, opened up and then the focus will be on scaling up. But it's just so much nicer when we can get the best machines, the best assemblers and we can start having that endless grind of resources into uh, into more modules because that will be our key to victory will be modules 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 and i do know that modules are are constrained in c block because we do not have all the really okay here from here we do not have the raw productivity modules but we still have the speed modules and we still have the efficiency modules and if you look at the efficiency modules how good they are at the highest level they are at oh only minus 60. It's actually not very much but what i definitely will do is then take uh, beacons that are full of effectivity modules and just plop them down here and there to compensate for all of the speed modules the speed modules cap out at plus 80 percent uh, energy consumption and 60 percent speed so maybe we'll have modules that contain or beacons that contain like three of these and four of the other ones that would also be nice and on the last one it's the productivity modules they go all the way up to plus 40 i believe productivity plus 12 oh they have been capped wow they have been nerfed so bad 
it doesn't matter. It's it's still the, the key to victory. It's not a very good key, but it's a key anyway. It's not as good a key as I had hoped it was. But anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much where we are. The base will continue to grow in terms of if you just look at our landfill. Uh, let's see, landfill here. Landfill 78,000. So definitely good opportunity to build more landfill. So with that, we're going to wrap this one up. I hope you're enjoying the forward progress of the base. I will encourage you to check out my live streams. I will be streaming mainly Tuesdays and Thursdays. And not always because there might be some real world things coming uh, coming my way but anyway i'll try to make it as much as possible and if not i'll try to find some other days so check out my discord check out my stream it's the availability and uh, i'll see you around thank you for joining bye